We're going to take a look at another empirical formula problem here. So we burn a substance, we find out that it contains um, these mass percentages. What is the empirical formula? So the first thing that we do is we take these mass percentages and just turn them into masses. So we've converted them each to masses, keep the um, same digits. And then the next thing that we want to do with each of them is convert them into moles. So the way to do that is look up the molar masses and convert to moles. I'm not showing this exactly as a um, conversion here, but these are my molar masses here, and I'm dividing the mass that was burned divided by the molar mass. That gives me then 0 0.870 moles of copper, 0 0.580 moles of carbon, and 2.32 moles of oxygen. And so what I just did here is I went from masses that were given up on top here. Each of those masses I used a molar mass and I can't exactly see it here because I didn't show the setup super clearly, um, but I've converted each of those into moles. Moles are good because remember our empirical formulas are um, mole proportions, mole ratios between the different elements. So once I've got moles here, um, now I want to find a good ratio. So I take the smallest of these numbers, which is the 0 0.580, and I'm going to divide all of these by 0 0.580, looking for the ratio of the different elements to each other. And when I do that, I get 1.5 coppers, one carbon, and four oxygens. So when I look at those, I can't stop with a fraction here um, because that would be like saying um, a fraction of a sodium to one chloride. So when I have that 0.5, I need to look up here at these ratios. If I see a 0.5, that's the same as a half, I need to scale it up to a whole number by multiplying it by two. And I need to take everything here um, as I scale up. I need to multiply all of these times two. So then that's gonna give me three coppers, two carbons, and eight oxygens, um, or a formula of Cu3C2O8. And these numbers are gonna become those subscripts, right? Um, I scaled them up, and then those became the subscripts in my empirical formula. So here is the empirical formula for that problem. So should you encounter other fractions, say a 1.33, you'd scale everything up by a factor of three. Or a quarter or a three quarters, scale up by four. Or one of these decimals, scale up by five. Um, I'm gonna leave you one more to practice here, and also um, that scale up to a molecular weight.